Hi all, how you doing? Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So we're going to do the weekly free, but we're trying to get 100% on each board. Uh, add some help on board five from, uh, in a roundabouts way, Mark Bolletin, even though I don't know who he is. Um, he helps uh, Hanoi Rondon in um, in solving some of these. But uh, board five is the only one that um, I needed some help on. Uh, hopefully I've got some different solutions to Hanoi. I haven't fully watched his video, but... Um, Watch his video as well. He does a good job of this. So I'm going to open a diamond. Then I'm going to bear two no trumps. And I'm going to bear three no trumps. Now I'm sure you can probably get some higher scores than what I'm getting here. Or even some, there are some other different solutions as well. Some, some, some of these you can actually just pass on. So here I'm going to unblock the spades. So a lot of these, it's important which card you place. So, for instance, if I play the queen here, there's a good chance that they won't continue. But by playing the king, um, I, I might not have the queen, you see, and partner might have the queen. But by playing the queen, I'm sort of saying I've also got the king as well. So it's important to play certain cards. So here I'm just going to play the jack of diamonds and give up on the diamond. Sorry. Uh, right. Set this up. Play the Queen of Clubs. Play the Queen of Diamonds. Okay, now the diamonds are broken, so I can throw all the hearts and the spade away, and I've got the rest of the tricks. So I'm making 11 tricks. Board two, any positive score or a zero will actually give you 100%. But here, I'm just going to... Um, Stay out of six hearts, that's for sure. Okay, so double showing hearts. I'm going to jump to three hearts, showing decent hand. Pass. Rough this. Play a spade to the king. So it's important to play the king and not the jack. Put in the seven. All right. So now right is down to the same amount of trumps as us. Rough this club. Draw another trump. Play a spade and east does not trump in. The fear that I'm out of spades. Okay. And now we can just claim the rest. Ace king, ace king, diamond to the ace. The queen of spades is good. And we've got the rest of the tricks, making 11 tricks. Board three, I'm going to open a spade. I'm sure you'd probably get a better result doing something else. Maybe you can get 10 tricks on this. I'm not sure, but I just want to avoid a spade lead from west by opening a spade. So oft, often in this, the lead that you don't want, if you bid that suit, can stop that suit being led. And now they've decided, aha, kidding me. <laughs> okay, and now we can just claim our nine tricks. Maybe there's a way of making an over trick on that one. I don't know. Okay, so here, rather than a bit of heart, I'm going to bid a spade. And then I'm just going to bid three no trumps. And the robots go extremely wrong on this one. Chuck away my losing spades. Duck this club. Win the club. Unblock a diamond. Play a heart to the ace. And at this point, when I was figuring this out, I was thinking, uh-oh, they're going to continue spades. But no, at this point, they switch. And um, just play the king of hearts, get the 2-2 two -two break. And we're good. Making 10 tricks. And 100%. Board five. 
uh, what did I do? Okay, so one diamond. So there's a secret again. Uh, the suit you don't like, if you bid it, so now I'm going to make a reverse, show a strong hand with hearts. And then East West won't believe that uh, they've got all the hearts. But also, the, hand, the tr tricky thing about this hand was getting East to play out the King and Ten of Clubs. So this is the hand I had help on. So I'm just going to play a diamond to the King. And now you play the heart to the 10. West can't believe that East has got the ace of hearts. Continues another club. Puts up the 10 of clubs. And now dummy's good. And then in clubs that is. And so much was needed to make oh, 12 tricks on this. It was ridiculous. Because even go wrong in the spade suit as well. So here, East could just duck this, but decides to cover. So here, we're going to open a club rather than a diamond. I'm going to bet a no trump. Partner bids a crazy two hearts. And now I'm just going to bid three no trumps. And then we get a, a spade lead. And they never touch clubs. Which is our weak suit. Okay, so now I can just... Claim uh, five and two more, so I can claim ten tricks. Claim an over trick. And another 100%. Another bit of a tricky one here is you have to open a, a club here. And we're going to bid six no trumps, and that makes East a uh, leader heart. Okay, I'm going to cash these hearts. Now the clubs fall. Twelve tricks. And finally, last hand. So I really wanted to bid when I first played this one out because we've got so many points and it's the best hand competition. And you're non-vulnerable, you kind of want to um, bid. But uh, here, pass. And now I'm going to bid three clubs. Then they bid three spades. And now I'm going to double it. So here I think the key play here is to go with the king rather than the queen of hearts. I might have played the wrong card here. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can actually get that too off. I've screwed up there. I shouldn't have chucked that diamond away. I should have chucked a club away. And then you can take it too off. Um, so, yeah, you can take it too off that one. Right, so that's how you get 100%. Uh, let's see how many people have got 100% now. Quite a lot. <laughs> uh, 21. Uh, yeah, there's uh, Mark Balotin. He comes up with a lot of these solutions. Um, there's Hanoi. There's me. Okay. Anyway, have a hundred percent. It's always a bit of fun. It can be a bit silly, I, I admit, but um, it it can. Um, I know some people don't like this hundred percent because it, it, it's kind of fake. Some of them are, are legitimate. You know, you get a hundred percent, and you can get different hundred percents. Like, I mean, when I first played this, the first board. I got was a hundred percent just playing in two spades, so you can get some legit answers. Um, obviously, getting some bigger scores is less legit, like six no trumps and stuff like that on board seven and things like that. But um, it's helpful to, in from a bridge perspective, it's helpful to get these hundred percent or working out how to get hundred percent. By the way, um, you can kid the players, the robots. But the thing is, you can kid players in real life. Okay, so it's not ridiculous. So sometimes when you want to make a contract, you got to think outside the box somewhat. And playing these uh, 100%, um, trying to get 100% on every board can help you think outside the box um, more. Uh, because some of them are really difficult. You know, they can, can spend like a couple of hours trying to work out how to get 100% on a hand. And you can translate that to the bridge table sometimes when you um, make certain plays, like leading a singleton king and, and things like that, with confidence at the very first trick in order to try and win that trick. Because a lot of the time they'll duck it with an ace and things like that. So certain plays that you can make where you get 100%, you can take to the actual bridge table and it's just you know part of your armory basically so yeah it can be a bit silly but also you know you can give players problems by doing crazy stuff sometimes you know because they've got to start thinking why are they doing that surely they wouldn't do that because they've got this okay so uh yeah it, it's it makes you think outside the box so give it a go that's all i'm saying <laughs>